Hey everybody, this is Gamer 12 Welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we gathered a couple of the insects in the Twilight area of Elden. In this video, we're going to gather the rest of them and find out what is up with this town. <laughs> Seems Kakuriko has gotten a bit, uh, rustic since we last saw it. Get out of my way. I really do hate those things. Ooh, I'll take that. Now, when last we left, we climbed up this side over here, and we ended up heading to right about here. So, I guess you're wondering where the next set of insects are. Well, according to the mini map, they're in here. Easiest way to get in is just to climb up here and smash through the window. Alright, now that we're in here, let's see. Hmm. Seems to be a store of some sort. And if I remember right, yes. Right behind here. Got him. <laughs> Alright. Next up, let's head out through here, and head up above the building. Now over here is another building, and as you can see, there's one of the insects right there. So let's chase it down! Hmm. Voice crack, sorry. Alright, let's see. They're hiding in the furnace. Well, that seems kind of foreboding, and also that's even more foreboding. Eh, something that you guys might want to take notice of. These signs. And this. All of this. This place is just littered with bombs. Unfortunately for us, the only way to get that thing out is to... Oh dear. Huh? What did you do? Sorry, but as romantic as this is, I'm not gonna stay here with you. I'm getting out. Uh, yeah, uh, wait for me. They blew themselves up. Hmm. I don't suppose there's any nicer way to hunt these things, huh? Well, you have to sacrifice someone's house to find the tears of light. That's how the cookies crumble, right? You are a very cruel woman. But I will gladly accept those tears. Now then, up here we've got more keys, more annoying keys, there, and a big freaking trumpeter, there. Man, do I hate those things. Now, if I call in here... out over here and anything? No? Okay. I thought there'd be one inside those pots. Alright. Well, that's everything in Kakarko Village for now. That last building notwithstanding. Two. Hello. Hello. I just saw something. Hmm. Maybe. 
maybe it's my imagination. It's not here. Even though it shows up on my mini map on the tablet. Oh, whatever. You two! Good night. Alright, I thought I saw something, like, so sometimes if you find something or if the, you just get close enough, on the Wii U, the tablet will show something that I recommend being called a dig spot. Reason being is because usually when I see it on the map and I get close enough to it and I sense, I see a giant dig spot. Sort of like an alcove. Alright, so jump up here and hone your senses and we see this thing. Ugh, why do I have to stand guard? Ladder's destroyed, so it's not like any humans will get up. And what's with the elders? If we have a problem the humans can help with, we should ask. It's better than suffering for the sake of pride. That was a Goron, so guess where we're going. Ugh. Give me that heart. Get out of my way. Man, those things just love getting... Are you done? Anyone else? Come on. I dare you. Alright. We'll climb up to three. You can push these rocks if you want. Usually they'll have rubies or hearts underneath them. And we end up here. And hello. That's something that we've been after for quite a while. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a howling stone if you listen to it. Hmm. Sound familiar to anyone? Here. Let me just up the volume a little bit. That way you guys can hear this. Teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. If anyone recognized that, I salute you. Alright, so according to this, back in the Faron province, or, no, oh, this is Ordon, sorry. Back in the Ordon province, right next to the fountain spring, is our wolf friend Shade. So, looks like we have a little trip to take next time. As well, there is an insect hiding out somewhere around here. There you are. Get the hell out of the ground. Get back here! You little... Gotcha! <laughs> Alright. Now on to the next little area. 
If you're wondering, that song was... Anyone recognize that? Ocarina of Time? Majora's Mask? Anything? It was the Song of Healing. Majora's Mask. Ah, and this is an instance where they gave us a little bit of a puzzle for the Howlers. Twilight Howlers. In this one, three of them are right next to each other. However, one of them, not only is a distance away from them, but he's also behind here. They kind of caged him in. How do you get to him? Pretty easy, actually. You just go around here. Now, let's bite him and kill him. There, now that he's out cold. What? I just got both of you. Liars. Alright, let's try this again. There. Took him out. Now for these three. Alright, now let's try to keep them all in order first. There we go. That took care of him. Okay, so... Let's see... Well, I would say our next place to go would be over here. Yes, there it is. So sitting on the side of this wall is our next insect. And just punch into the wall and you'll scare it off. And I think this is one of the ones that will try to strike at you. Looks like we didn't give him a chance as soon as he got my sights. Next up, climb up here, and as soon as that thing stops steaming, climb the heck up. Let's see what this guy has to say. Why do I have to stand guard at a dead end at the bottom of a cliff like this? Wait a second. And they tuck me out of the way because they think I'm useless? I ain't saying anything, buddy. Alright, next up. Climbing up here. Get out of the way. Trumpeter. Next up, this one. So, where the hell? Die. All of you, just die. There. <sighs> Finally took care of it. Now then, with that finished off, we can just simply climb out of here and head back to Kekriko Village. Here we are, back in Kekariko. Whew. So, I'm wondering what you guys think of my Let's Plays so far. I'm planning on doing another one in tandem with this after I finish with Minecraft. Not sure which one I should do, though. I've had a few ideas, and I think I've come down to a good solution. However, I don't know how well it's going to go. Anyway, let's climb up here. And drop down in here. Simplest way to get into that building. Now that we've made it, time for a few cutscenes. And new voice acting. And old voice acting. Cripes! I don't see those black brutes anywhere! They gotta be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. 
We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold this sanctuary against beasts that strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over. Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her and a whole gang of the town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone. And there are two monsters waiting. You count the dots. That means if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... BOMBS! <laughs> Aw, poor Beth. Look, Renato. All I need to say is that it's risky here. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is a sub. <laughs> what? You've got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? Never noticed he had three ducks on his nose. The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all the candles have been lit. Where'd you get that torch in the first place? I would not do that. When Father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like those beasts outside. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Link is coming to save us all. <laughs> I can feel it. I feel like some of their voices were different from before. These kids knew you'd come to save them. What a hero. How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. <laughs> you are chosen by the gods and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit or worse. Into a dark monster. When you enter twilight. And no one knows you have done. He may be doomed to toil in obscurity forever. You're the type to worry about everything, I can tell. But don't fret over Princess Zelda. She chose the state of affairs, after all. Anyway, what's with having to light candles to get into a basement? Not very subtle, is it? So, what are you gonna do now? My lonely little hero. <laughs> I am going to bite you. There is no doubt I will bite you. Making fun of me and my friends, I will make you pay for that one day. One, two, three, four. Jump across those gaps and you'll Hit all the torches. And there's the cellar entrance. Now, drop this, hold your senses, listen in. What sorcery is this? The entrance to the cellar opened on its own? Could those beasts have engineered even this? Sorry guys. All right, let's take care of these things once and for all. Three at once, huh? Let's try our luck. Well, that didn't work. That worked, though. And last one. 
There we go. One more cutscene and we'll be done with this episode. The vessel of light is full of tears, and light has returned to this area. And so have we. Aww, I was just starting to have fun. Don't forget that huge shadow. <laughs> See you later. Alright, let's see what bad boy this is. No. No. Anything but that. No! Not another owl! My name is Elden. I am the spirit that God leads lands. Hoot hoot. O great hero chosen by the gods. The dark power you seek lies in the sacred grounds of the proud mountain dwellers. Hoot hoot. Those grounds have been defiled, draped in shadow, and seeded with evil. You must go to those sacred grounds and cleanse them. another owl. It's bad enough having one in Ocarina of Time, and now I have to go and see that one eventually, too. Link? Hey! The heck? Well, at least one of them's taking their time. Haha! <laughs> see, Beth? I told you! I told you Link would save us! Come on, Colin, get over here. Are you the one from Ordon whom these children spoke of? We are well met. I am Renato, shaman of this town. And this... <laughs> this is my daughter, Luda. The beast took us. Oh, wrong word, sorry. The beast took us and left us to die. But Mr. Renato found us. At first, I couldn't believe they had come from so distant a place as the Ordona province. Yeah, I. We don't remember much. All of a sudden, everyone was captured, and then, until now, it's been like. Yeah. It was like a terrible dream and we couldn't wake up. Well, you were trapped in twilight for such a long time, you were just scared anyway. Hmm. Nightmares are everywhere these days, it seems. This village has certainly seen its share of recent hardships. The dark beast attacked, but even worse was the sudden inexplicable change in the mountain dwellers the Goron tribe. They had long been our friends, but suddenly they treated us as foes. Even now they refuse to permit us entry into their minds. It strains the limits of belief to think that such gentle and proud creatures could change so suddenly. 
makes me wonder if something in those minds is the cause of this change. In any case, you must take these children and flee this village before more nightmares descend. I, of course, cannot leave my village in such a time. There's no telling what may happen to us here. But it is my job to try and coax the Gorons back to their recent change of hearts. <sighs> now I'm stuck with the kids. Again. Well, we'll save that for next time. As Renato said, Something's going on in the mines, and we need to find out what. So we need to visit the Gorons and take care of that later. See you guys then. This is Link Camera 12, signing out.